Now it came to pass that according to our record, and we know our record to be true, for behold, it was a just man who did keep the record. And in the thirty and fourth year, in the first month, on the fourth day of the month, there arose a great storm, such as one as never had been known in all the land. And there was also a great and terrible tempest and exceeding sharp lightnings, and there was a great and terrible destruction in the land. And many great and notable cities were sunk, and many were burned, and many were shaken, till the buildings thereof had fallen to the earth, and the inhabitants thereof were slain, and the places were left desolate. thunderings and the lightnings and the storm and the tempest and the quakings of the earth did cease. There was darkness upon the face of the land. And there could be no light because of the darkness, neither candles, neither torches. Neither could there be fire kindled with their fine and exceedingly dry wood, so that there could not be any light at all. And it came to pass that it did last for the space of three days, that there was no light seen, and there was great mourning and howling and weeping among all the people continually. And it came to pass that there was a voice heard among all the inhabitants of the earth and upon all the face of this land. to this people. Woe unto the inhabitants of the whole earth, except they shall repent. For the devil laugheth, and his angels rejoice, because of the slain of the fair sons and daughters of my people. And it is because of their iniquity and abominations that they are fallen. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I created the heavens and the earth and all things that in them are. I was with the Father from the beginning. I am the light and the life of the world. Behold, I have laid down my life and have taken it up again. Therefore, repent and come unto me, ye ends of the earth, and be saved.
And now it came to pass that there was a great multitude gathered together of the people of Nephi round about the temple which was in the land bountiful. And they were marveling and wondering one with another and were showing one to another the great and marvelous change which had taken place. And they were also conversing about this Jesus Christ of whom the sign had been given concerning his death. Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. I am the light and the life of the world, and I have drunk out of that bitter cup which the Father hath given me, and have glorified the Father in taking upon me the sins of the world, in the which I have suffered the will of the Father in all things from the beginning.
Nephi, Nephi, arise. I give unto you power that ye shall baptize this people when I am again ascended into heaven. Timothy, Jonas, Methoni, Mathaniha, Cuman, Cuman on high, Jeremiah, Shemnon, Jonas, Zedekiah, Isaiah. On this wise shall ye baptize, and there shall be no disputations among you. Verily I say unto you, that whoso repenteth of his sins through your words, and desireth to be baptized in my name, on this wise shall ye baptize them. Behold, ye shall go down and stand in the water, and in my name shall ye baptize them. And now behold, these are the words which ye shall say, calling them by name, saying, Having authority given me of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then shall ye immerse them in the water, and come forth again out of the water. And there shall be no disputations among you, as there have hitherto been. Neither shall there be disputations among you concerning the points of my doctrine, as there have hitherto been. For verily, verily I say unto you, he that hath the spirit of contention is not of me, but is of the devil, who is the father of contention. Thup the hearts of men to contend with anger one with another. Behold, this is not my doctrine, to stir up the hearts of men with anger one against another, but this is my doctrine that such things should be done away. Behold, verily, verily I say unto you, I will declare unto you my doctrine. I bear record that the Father commandeth all men everywhere to repent and believe in me. And whoso believeth in me and is baptized, the same shall be saved. And they are they who shall inherit the kingdom of God. And whoso believeth not in me, and is not baptized, shall be damned. Verily, verily I say unto you, that this is my doctrine and I bear record of it from the Father. Therefore, go forth unto this people and declare the words which I have spoken unto the ends of the earth. And it came to pass that when Jesus had spoken these words unto Nephi and to those who had been called, behold, he stretched forth his hand unto the multitude and cried unto them, saying, Blessed are ye 
if ye shall give heed unto the words of these twelve whom I have chosen from among you to minister unto you and to be your servants. And unto them I have given power that they may baptize you with water. And after that ye are baptized with water, behold, I will baptize you with fire and with the Holy Ghost. Therefore, blessed are ye if ye shall believe in me and be baptized after that ye have seen me and know that I am. And again, more blessed are they who shall believe in your words, because ye shall testify that ye have seen me, and that ye know that I am. Yea, blessed are they who shall believe in your words, and come down into the depths of humility, and be baptized, for they shall be visited with fire and with the Holy Ghost, and shall receive a remission of their sins. Blessed are the poor in spirit, who come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And again, blessed are all they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are all they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are all the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are all the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are all they who are persecuted for my name's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For ye shall have great joy and be exceeding glad, so great shall be your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets who were before you those things which were of old time, which were under the law, in me are fulfilled. Old things are done away, and all things have become new. Therefore, I would that ye should be perfect, even as I, or your Father who is in heaven, is perfect. And when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, 
pray to thy Father who is in secret. And thy Father who seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And after this manner, therefore, pray ye. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And it came to pass that he commanded that their little children should be brought. So they brought their little children and set them down upon the ground round about him. And Jesus stood in the midst. And the multitude gave way till they had all been brought unto him. And he took their little children one by one and blessed them and prayed unto the Father for them.
And now it came to pass that when Jesus had ascended into heaven, the multitude did disperse, and every man did take his wife and his children, and did return to his own home. And it came to pass that on the morrow, when the multitude was gathered together, behold, Nephi and the others of the twelve did teach the multitude. Behold! We have prayed unto the Father for that which we desired most, that the Holy Ghost would be given. And we have been baptized, and our prayers have been answered. For the Holy Ghost has come upon us, and as our Lord promised, we have been filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Kneel down upon the earth, and let prayer fill your thoughts. Father, I thank thee that thou hast given the Holy Ghost unto these whom I have chosen. And it is because of their belief in me that I have chosen them out of the world. Father, I pray thee that thou wilt give the Holy Ghost unto all them that shall believe in their words. And now, Father, I pray unto thee for them and also for all those who shall believe on their words that they may believe in me that I may be in them as thou, Father, art in me that we may be one. And tongue cannot speak the words which he prayed, neither can be written by man the words which he prayed. And behold, Jesus did expound many great and marvelous things unto the people while he was with them. And he did teach them many wonderful things, both great and small. And he did expound all things, even from the beginning until the time that he should come in his glory. Yea, even all things which should come upon the face of the earth and now there cannot be written in this book even a hundredth part of the things which Jesus did truly teach unto the people. Behold, I have given unto you my gospel, and this is the gospel which I have given unto you, that I came into the world to do the will of my Father, because my Father sent me. And my Father sent me that I might be lifted up upon the cross. And after that I had been lifted up upon the cross, that I might draw all men unto me, that as I have been lifted up by men, even so should men be lifted up by the Father to stand before me to be judged of their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. Now this is the commandment. Repent all ye ends of the earth, and come unto me, and be baptized in my name, that ye may be sanctified by the reception of the Holy Ghost, that ye may stand spotless before me, at the last day. Verily, verily I say unto you, this is my gospel, 
and ye know the things that ye must do in my church. For the work seen me do, even that shall ye do. Therefore, if ye do these things, blessed are ye. For ye lifted up at the last day. And it came to pass that the disciples whom Jesus had chosen began from that time forth to baptize and to teach as many as did come unto them. And as many as were baptized in the name of Jesus were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they taught and did minister one to another. And they had all things common among them, every man dealing justly one with another. And it came to pass that they did do all things even as Jesus had commanded them. And it came to pass that the people were all converted unto the Lord upon all the face of the land, both Nephites and Lamanites. And there were no contentions and disputations among them. And every man did deal justly one with another, and they were all made free and partakers of the heavenly gift because of the love of God, which did dwell in the hearts of the people. And surely there could not be a happier people among all the people who had been created by the hand of God.